Fun. Uh, my name is Brian Gettle. I'm the Director of Communications for the U.S. Chamber of Commerce Foundation's Hiring Our Heroes program and pleased to be joined this morning by Robin Pugh, the President of Queen Associates, an IT staffing and consulting small business based out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Robin joining from their Boston office this morning and Robin, a military spouse herself. Robin, uh, we're, we're, we're thrilled to have you here today. Well, thank you so much, Brian. I'm excited to be here too. And Queen Associates is a one of eight finalists for our Small Business Tournament of Veteran Champions that we launched with our great partners at Spike TV. Uh, and we're thrilled to be now in the uh, kind of home stretch of the competition with our eight finalists and doing a series of these Google Hangouts so that all of you can get a chance to learn a little bit more about each of the finalists and why they are where they are and why maybe they should be considered uh, to move on to the final four and eventually be the champion. The winner uh, we will announce, excuse me, the final four on May 17th, um, that Friday, so public voting. You can vote uh, for your favorite company through May 16th before we announce that final four. And then the winner will get a uh, trip for two to Los Angeles to attend the guys, uh, Spike TV Guys Choice Awards, their biggest award show of the year. Uh, and they will also receive a custom spot produced by Spike TV that will air on Spike touting their veteran-friendly practices. So. Um, with, with all of the, the nuts and bolts out of the way, uh, Robin, I want to get a chance for uh, everyone to, to learn more about you and your business. Uh, again, mention you're a military spouse. Right. Uh, tell me a little bit about how uh, you became the president of Queen Associates and what your, uh, what your small business is all about. Great. I'd love to. Um, well, we have, uh, my husband and I have lived in North Carolina for a long time, and I have been in staffing in various ways recruiting both corporate and agency side for about 18 years and I had the opportunity a couple of years ago along with my partner to purchase Queen Associates which was a firm that had been started in Charlotte back in 2000 and uh, we felt really fortunate to have that opportunity it was a, a firm that had a great reputation in the local market and we were able to uh, purchase it in 2011 and shortly thereafter, um, I started our veteran program called Warrior to Workforce. And the reason I wanted to do that was because, as you mentioned, Brian, I am a military spouse. My husband is a logistics officer in the Navy, and he is reserve. And he has been deployed twice um, over the past several years, once during the invasion in 2003, and then again during the surge in 2007. So during that time, I got to walk in the shoes of what an active duty spouse feels uh, to a degree. And, um, you know, there's a lot of uncertainty. And even though my husband had a great civilian job, you just have questions about what that's going to look like when he comes back and if that same opportunity will be there and how the reintegration is going to look. And uh, we were really lucky, really blessed to have a lot of support um, from both his employer and our friends and family in the area. Um, but a lot of the service members that he served with had a totally different experience and it was heartbreaking to watch them struggle and struggle to reintegrate, struggle to find a job that would provide for their family. And, you know, I was really uh, convicted in my heart that this is something I could help with. I mean, this is what I do for a living. I've done it for a long time. It's all I know how to do. And it was a great opportunity for me to combine my passion around helping service members with my profession of finding them jobs. And so um, I'm just as excited as I can be that we've had the opportunity to put this program together. And our clients have just welcomed it with open arms. And um, we just want to help more people. We want to get the word out so that we can help more because there is so much opportunity. And uh, as, I'm, as I mentioned, North Carolina is the third largest military state in the country. So we've got a whole lot of men and women coming back who need help reintegrating, and, and we want to be there for them. Well, that's great. And uh, tell me a little bit more about this Warrior to Workforce program and, and exactly how it works and how you've been able to now grow uh, the number of veterans in, in your workforce now making up more than 25% of the company. Right. The program is pretty simple. It's uh, it's just taking an individual approach to helping our military candidates. You know, we don't take a one-size-fits-all approach when we're dealing with civilian candidates. So I don't think it makes any sense that we should be able to do that with a military candidate pool. Each serviceman and woman is different. They've had different experiences both prior to the military and in the military. They have different skills and interests and competencies. And, you know, I think one of the things that's made us successful is we're small 
but yet we have a big outreach. And I'll explain more about that later. But I think the fact that we are a small business, we can take the time to individually get to know these men and women who need a little bit more individualized attention. It's not just about writing a resume. It's not just about giving them interview tips. They get a lot of great advice on that when they're coming out of the military, and there are a lot of nonprofits out there that provide really good tips. We don't have any secret sauce around getting the resume written in just the way that's going to get it through the buzzword filters at corporate recruiters' desks. It's not just about the resume. It really, in my mind, is about advocating for that individual on an individualized, personalized basis making connections and introductions for them and each member of our team is focused on that. We network constantly with the end goal of, of finding more contacts in more places where we can introduce more veterans. Because once you get a great military candidate in front of a hiring manager, it just works. They see the potential, they see the skills, they see the leadership, all those intangibles that we talk about. They can see that in a way that no resume no um, cover letter is ever going to be able to represent. So really, we consider that our mission to help advocate and make those connections. And that's what's been successful for us. You uh, also, in your entry, talked about uh, your plans to implement a military apprentice program. Tell me a little bit about your thoughts behind that and what, uh, what that entails exactly. Right. Well, um, I had a friend tell me one time, he's like, Robin, you know, military candidates are like stem cells. You can put them in any environment and they're bright and they're capable and they're going to figure it out and be successful. And I thought, you know, that's absolutely right. And we have so many clients who have, um, you know, maybe a strategic initiative for their company where they're going to need to bring on a number of resources. And those are the perfect opportunities for our military apprentice program. Unlike a lot of um, apprentice and internship programs, it's not classroom education focused. I think there are a lot of great uh, resources out there for those types of programs. We're, we're more focused on the on-the-job training. So we identify um, an area where maybe small teams are needed and maybe it's five to six resources. So we bring those individuals on, again, based on screening for certain competencies and then in partnership with the client, we develop a structured training program that complements their work experience. So they don't have to go sit in a classroom after hours every night, but they're learning on the job. They're able to put their skills to use immediately. So they immediately feel that sense of contribution mm -hmm. and providing for their family. That, that helps with that psychological reintegration. And then on, uh, on the other hand, the client gets a phenomenal product at the end. A lot of times we look at um, an 18-month period where every six months they're kind of adding a new competency to their, uh, to their resume. And throughout that 18-month period, um, they're continuing to gain those skills. And then at the end of the apprentice program, they're able to transition to being a full-time employee of the client if that's what they would prefer, or they can move on to another project engagement through Queen Associates. I know you've uh, you've actually participated and and hired from some of our uh, from at least one of our hiring our heroes job fairs. You did. Tell me about um, you know what makes a veteran such a great employee. Well, I'm a little biased because my husband's my hero, and I see all the great skills that he has as a person, but things that the military has really enhanced in him, and I see um, you know that ability to just be flexible to show up. You know, every day in, in the military, you show up and then you're told what your job is. So I think that in itself is a great uh, asset to have, um, especially as a small business owner. The military individuals that work for us, you know, we need them to wear lots of hats. And I think that's a great ability of a military uh, service member is the ability to, you know, do this job today and do another job tomorrow and do it without question or resentment and just be a team player participate, show leadership, show the ability to solve problems, even if you may not have all the tools and resources you need, you know, you put on that MacGyver hat and you figure out how to solve the problem. Uh, and I know Queen Associates has been very active in the community as well in supporting uh, both financially and through volunteer hours, uh, you know, veterans organizations in the area. Tell me a little bit about that and, uh, you know, some of the organizations you support. I'd love to. That's one of the things really important to us. You know, we're a, we are a 
hometown company in Charlotte. They've, they've known us for a long time and we've set some expectations through our mission statement around the fact that not only do we want to be a great employer and a great partner to our clients, but we want to be a good corporate citizen and to us that means giving back. The community has been good to us and we want to give back. So we've, we've intentionally focused a lot of our um, charitable contribution dollars as well as our service hours around organizations that support the military because of our passion around that. So um, we've been really blessed with a lot of good organizations at our fingertips in Charlotte. Some of those are uh, Charlotte Bridge Home, which is, uh, I like to refer to them as kind of a concierge service for military. When they come back to the Charlotte area, they help with everything from housing to employment to um, medical, um, anything that the, that the service member could need. They kind of centralize that for them, which is a great service. Um, we also work a lot with Operation Homefront North Carolina, which prov provides emergency financial assistance for the families of enlisted service members. Um, I've just recently gotten involved with a group um, called Team Red, White, and Blue, which I'm really excited about. Uh, they do a lot of athletic events to help with, um, you know, the, the morale and the reintegration from a social and, and athletic perspective and really excited about that. And Brian, you and I have talked about the fact that I uh, one of the things I like to refer to, someone told me one time when a veteran comes back, they need two things, a job and a friend. And we can help them with the job at Queen Associates. And uh, through a lot of these organizations we support, we can help with the friendship piece too. All right, and now, now the big one. So we have a very strong group of eight finalists. Yes. Why should anyone watching, why should they, why should they vote for Queen Associates? Why should you be the winner of this competition? Well, that's a tough one because I know that the competition is tough. So when I think about that, really the, the reason that they should vote for Queen Associates is because we have truly an unlimited opportunity to hire veterans into great careers. You know, our business model, not only do we hire people for our internal team, we hire people for our clients. And our clients are great companies, great Fortune 100 companies. We supply resources to companies like Bank of America and Duke Energy and other um, large corporations across the country. And while I can't hire everyone personally in, inside my small business, they hire thousands of people every year and all of them have met with us and have voiced support for the military hiring initiative. Many of them have their own military hiring initiatives. So our initiatives and theirs complement each other beautifully. So when I look at how many people they hire on an annual basis and our partnership with them, it really does provide an unlimited uh, supply and pipeline of great jobs for great military candidates. And I think that's why you should vote for Queen Associates. Uh, that sounds great, Robin. Thank you again so much. And do not forget, there's still time you have through May 16th to vote. Go to vetchampstourney.com. Again, vetchampstourney.com. You'll see the bracket up there with the eight finalists. You can vote up to once a day uh, for the uh, small business that you think deserves to be recognized as the most veteran-friendly small business in America. Robin, we look forward to seeing you again on May 17th, when indeed we make that big announcement for the Final Four. Uh, thanks again for joining us on this Google Hangout. Thank you, Brian.